Hello, my name is Kevin Anderson with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video is about configuring the call forwarding service on an AS5300 with the provisioning client. In today's demo, I'll configure the call forwarding service, verify the available resources on the system, assign the service to a domain, assign the service to a user, remove the call forwarding service that we provisioned. You can find detailed instructions in the Avaya Aura Application Server 5300 2.0 using the provisioning client guide in the link shown. Now let's get started. So I've just logged into the provisioning client and the first thing we need to do before we can configure the call forwarding service is we need to verify that we have resources available on the system. We'll click on Services, Resources. From here we can see that the call forwarding subscribers, uh, system resources available is 50,000 and 48,000 unused resources. The next thing we need to do is assign the call forwarding service to the domain. So if we go under services, assign services, and then under service assignment, uh, we're gonna work with the DS2 auto SIP1 uh, domain, which is one of our test domains. And then we get a list of all of the assigned services and we can scroll down to the call forward variant service and we just check on it, the checkbox, and then hit the save. And we get a message indicating that the service is assigned successfully. And the next thing we need to do is we'll need to assign the resources to the service in the domain. So under resources, we'll search for our DS2 auto SIP domain click on the search button and under the call forwarding subscribers we need to give it some current resources so right now we have zero so we'll assign 5,000 just keep everything consistent scroll down and click on the save button and we get a message that resources assigned successfully now that we got our resources in place uh, we'll need to go and provision the call forwarding service. So we click on services, call routing, call forward variants. So the first thing is we need to have a profile name. In this case, I'm just going to call it uh, Kevin Testing Forward. And then call forward variant busy. So this indicates that when a caller is busier on the phone that the any incoming calls will be forwarded to the destination they specify. So we'll select that. The no answer variant is if the call isn't answered within a certain number of rings uh, then it gets forwarded to the destination defined by the user. And call forward immediate this is so that the user can set their phone to forward immediately to specified DM. And we'll just set all of them and we'll save it. And we get an indication that it was saved successfully. And the next thing we want to do is assign this new variant that we created to the domain we want to use it in. So this just adds it to the select list when we go to the user. So when we select the user, our new variant will show up in the list. So click on Assign Remove. And we select our autosip.com and we copy it and then hit save. And we get an indication that the profile was saved successfully. Okay, now that we have the variant assigned to the domain, we'll need to go and go to the user's data and give the user the ability to use the call forward variant. So we click on user, search, and we'll just search the DS2 auto SIP domain for everybody and we'll select one of the users. And we'll select the SIP 1037 user. Click on services. Scroll down to the call forward service. Click on the call forward variant. And then click on save. And we get a message indicating that the service has been assigned to the user but the specific profile has not been assigned, so we'll need to do that under services. So we click on services, call routing, 
call forward variant. Now we click on user data and we select our user, view, select our variant profile and it's Kevin forwarding and then click on save. And we get a message that the call forwarding variant user profile was assigned successfully. So now, once we've assigned everything, I want to show how to remove a profile. Um, the first thing we'll need to do is, so if we delete this from the user profile, that'll remove the use in the system profile. Since this is service affecting, as always, we'll have to enter in the admin password and confirm. And we get the message that the profile was unassigned successfully. And now if we go to system profile, we remove uh, the Kevin call forwarding from the domain. So we'll click on assign and remove. And we just click on the domain that we want to remove. And in this case, it's auto SIP one and click on remove and then click on save. And we get a message that the variant profile was removed from the domain successfully. The final step is to delete the profile. In order to delete the profile, we first needed to remove any assigned domains from this profile. And in order to remove the domain, we had to remove any users from that domain. So that's why we did the remove the user first, then remove the domain, and then finally delete the service profile. So we click on the delete button. And once again, since it's service affecting, we need to enter in the admin password and confirm. And we get a message that the variant profile was deleted successfully and we don't see it in the list down below. And that concludes our demo for today. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was helpful. We welcome your comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. Thank you for choosing Avaya.